Shalom, Shalom, Mr. Brother Azari from the Pittsburgh GMS camp. And uh, I just so happened to come across this video. And, uh, you know, it's kind of, it was a sad video, you know, and it just kind of made me want to um, talk about it. Let me see if I can find it real quick. Yeah, when I saw it, I was just kind of like, man, this is, this is our people, man, you know. You know, I kind of feel like Paul sometimes when I wish that there was, you know, or, or like Esdras, Ezra, Ezra in uh, Second Esdras around the seventh through ninth chapter, how he was, you know, trying to make intercession to the Most High. I'm, I'm gonna probably get that. Let me find um. Let me find this clip I downloaded, but yeah, it's just like, you know, it kind of sucks. I mean, it sucks to see our people in this state, man. Our people is gone out here, man. You know, but it's kind of a humbly, a humbling thing, you know, so when I consider, you know, that it could, it could have been me going through this. Here it goes. Look at this young man. Look at this young man. He's trying to put a dollar through the dang on car slider, man. Man, this is not your EBT card. That's, that's what I'm saying. I'm not trying to get rude to you. I'm just saying it's not going through. See? Man, you know? this is a dollar. This is not a card. That's what I'm saying. It's yeah. not. You're just being serious with you. You want me to bring this to another store? Yeah. All right. You know? And when I see this, I'll mute it. When I see this, you know, it just kind of reminds me of the state of our people, man. Our people are gone, you know? Um for them to you know and and these other these heathen nations they don't give a crap man this is funny to them they they and they you know which is some this another nigga man he's like oh this not a this not a this not a what do you want me to do instead of telling him hey man I don't know you know first thing out of his mouth is it's not an EBT card you know <clears throat> when you can see the Jake he's like well, you know, just, I don't know. He's just, you know, his mind just gone, man. He ain't even trying to be ignorant about it. He just gone, you know? And without this truth, you know, this could be either one of us. This could be any of us, man. Without the truth, without the, the mercy of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh this could be any one of us, man. You know, I used to smoke weed in the world. You know what I'm saying? Maybe he howled some type of, you know, lace weed. Or, you know, ain't no telling us on this weed out here nowadays, man. It was already jacked up and then we heard about that little drug that was they was putting on the weed ain't no telling what's going on around on this stuff man let's do the round of me 28 and go to 20 uh and 28 28 and 28 the lord shall smite thee with madness and blindness and astonishment of heart and 29 says and thou shalt grope at noonday as the blind gropeth in darkness and thou shalt not prosper in thy ways and thou shalt be only oppressed and spoiled evermore and no man shall save thee, you know, and you ain't like that. That damn Elamite gave a damn about what was going on with that, bro. He wasn't trying to help him out. You know, he's just like, man, this nigga don't get out of my line with this madness that he got going on. But that's what's going on, man. He basically like a blind man. He's sitting there trying to put a dollar, you know, put a dollar, do a thing on a card slide thing. You know, bro, that ain't where that go, man. You know? And it's a sad thing that our people go through that. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know, they die. They, they not out here taking their life seriously. I mean, ultimately, it's all because of the Most High made it that way. But you know, that'll make it none the less sad. You know, you know what we have to understand, and especially in this truth that you know, it's not really much we can do, man. So that thou shalt be mad for the sight of thine eyes, which thou shalt see. The fruit of their sons and thy daughters shall be given to another people, and their eyes shall look and fail with longing for them all the day long, and there shall be no might in thine hand. The fruit of thy land and all thy labors 
shall a nation which thou knowest not eat up. Even today, man, they don't pay you. Look at look at the cost of living. Look at the cost of food. Look at the cost of everything versus the minimum wage. The everyday average Jake and even people who have a, a, a higher level job, you know what I'm saying? Depending on what you were to where you're working, it still sometimes is barely enough to do what you need to do, man. You really end up living check to check. Now, that's also a curse the most high put on put on us. You know what I'm saying? Let me get that. I think it's. uh, Yeah, it's Haggai. You know, it's part of it, but, you know, still don't make it no better, man. That is that is like that. What Haggai? One and six, you know, you have sown much and bring in little. Ye eat, but have not enough. Ye drink, but ye are not filled with drink. Ye clothe you, but there is none warm. And he that earneth wages, earneth wages to put it in a bag with holes. And that's basically what the, they eating up the labors, man. They're a nation that, that, that y'all don't know, you know. Of course, we know who our enemy is, but we didn't know them when it first started. And you still, you know, our, our people still don't know. The, the true ways of the white man, the so-called white man, the Edomites. And it shall, shall a nation which thou knowest not eat up all thy labors, and thou shalt only be oppressed and crushed always, man. We always at the bottom, man. We always oppressed and crushed and looked at as the least of the least, man. So that thou shalt be mad for the sign of thine eyes, which thou shalt see. And it does make you mad. You look when you see stuff like that. You know, he's making a mockery of that dude, man. But I mean, look what look what he was doing, man. That shall become an astonishment, a proverb, and a byword among all nations, whether the Lord shall leave lead thee. <laughs> you know, look what he said to him. That's not your food stamps card, buddy. You know, why it gotta be a food stamp card? You know, but that's. That's what we become to these nations, a joke. Like that one video where the Indian dude was making fun of the uh the women in the store. Let me see. I don't know how I'm gonna find that. Anyway, yeah, yeah, here you go. This is what they think of us, man. My country, they told me I'm going to come to America and see beautiful girls. But when I got to America, this is what I get to see. Hello. Say what's up, my nigga. I get to see this ugly motherfucker. Ugly nigga, never was I ugly. I will slap the shit. Hey, Jay. They talking about America got better girls than us. But don't believe the Americans. Look, this is the truth. I look good. Y'all bitches look fried. So does your mother, bitch. See? <laughs> what do you say to him? Y'all bitches look fried. Come on, man. That's what they think of you, man. Why you would, hey, don't, don't, hey, these bitches find on my camera. How much are these grandma cookies? A dollar. You fucking lying ass bitch. I don't got ABT. Oh, she got money. I see that shit in her hand. My bad, my bad. But oh, she got money. I can't fuck with her right now. She got it. See, same thing they was said to that other dude. EBT. I don't got EBT. You know what I'm saying? Disrespectful, man. You know, yeah, it was. They was, they was, you know, they had their own issues. Yeah, it was, that was jacked up. But hey, that's part of the curses, man. But you know, hey, proverb in the byword: Where your EBT at? All black folks got EBT. When in actuality, there's, you know, more white people on EBT now these days than black people, or at least there's a lot more white people. Let's say that. Let's say that. Hey, you know they looking at you like that, but the but all the while they eating off of you, man. Why does the why if you don't like seeing 
you know, quote unquote, fried black women, fried black bitches, as he called them. Why you got a store in the hood, man? Why you got a store in the hood, huh? Because you know that's you're gonna get money there. You'll go in there, you sell your damn blacks and your cigarettes and your damn blunts, your whatever the hell else you're selling, and you're getting paid off of it, you know? They be having little pipes in there and stuff. They be having all type of stuff in these stores, little scales and pipes and little weed bags and crack and drug bags. They just cater into the hood, man. Because they up there, they 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 can they eating you up, man. What it say? Only be oppressed and spoiled, evermore. And that's what they doing, man. Oppressed and crushed. And so that's I mean, be on the pun I see for a sign and a wonder, and upon I see forever, man. Upon the for a sign and a wonder. And that's what's going on. Anything you want, you gotta go to your enemy, man. Like your bro, I'm just reading through here. I didn't really plan out a bunch of stuff because when I saw that video, it was just like, you know. <laughs> this made me feel bad about our people. Being in that position, man, you know, what did Paul say? Uh, come on. It should be the first one. Maybe. Maybe I put the wrong words in. I could wish. Okay. There's enough keywords in there for it to come up. Paul said, for I wish that that myself were a curse from you, from Hamashiach, for my brethren, my kinsmen, according to the flesh, you know? You know? It sucks. It sucks. It hurts to see our people in these positions, man. Uh See to this go with it. Nah, that ain't it. The last thing I do is I go to Ezra, Ezra, Estrus. Did I close that video? <gasps> I must have closed it. I must have closed it. All right. But I kind of, you know, I kind of feel how Ezra felt about our people, man. Because, you know, it's a sad thing. But the most I told Ezra what it was then, you know, for us to be able to know what it is now. And the fact is, it don't matter, you know. Ain't nothing we can do about what's going on right now. You know. So, let's see, should I start at 6? I started at 7 the other day. Lock ya. Mm. Oh, okay. Mm -mm. Mm -mm -mm. I am trying to find the
，因为呃。Okay, I'm just gonna go to the next chapter. This is not what I wanted. Anyway, so yeah, you know, we everybody has to. What does he say? If if they they that live labor not to enter these straight and vain things, they can never receive those that are laid up for them. So, if we don't take this thing seriously, if we don't take our this walk seriously, you know. We're getting right with the Most High seriously, and understand what comes with that—the temptation, the the hatred that's kindled over you, the uh, I mean, just the status that you already are in. You know, even without people being in the truth, these heathens don't like you. They never did. So it's like. You know, this is what it is. Nevertheless, the righteous shall suffer straight things and hope for wide, for they that for they that have done wickedly have suffered the straight things and yet shall not see the wide. And that's that's the point. You know, the sea is set in a wide place that it might be deep and great, but the case, but put the but put the case the entrance were narrow and like a river. Who then could go into the sea to look upon it and to rule it? If he went not through the narrow, how could he come into the broad? There is also another thing: a city is built and set upon a broad field, and is full of all good things. The entrance thereof is narrow, and is set in a dangerous place to fall, like as if there were a fire on the right hand, and on the left a deep water. And that's that's the delicate balance of this walk that we're in, man, because. If you get snared by one of the devices of the devil, you know, of course, it was predestined for you to do such. But for those who are currently still in Yahweh Shai's graces, Yahweh Shai's Yahweh Shai's graces, it's like it's a sobering thing to remind you that if you step outside of that control, that that area of protection, that narrow pathway, you could be lost like that, bro. Trying to put a damn dollar bill. In a card machine, you know, like what? You know, for us being in the truth, it's hard to fathom doing such a thing. You know, nobody's perfect. We we make mistakes, but it's hard to imagine standing in front of a damn dollar, a card slider, trying to slide a dollar bill through it like it's a vending machine. Talking about it won't go through, and really in your mind. Being serious about it, and really in your mind looking at the dude, like I don't know what's wrong. You know, that's the that's the scary and the sad part about it. If the dude was really looking like trying to be humble about it, like yeah, that's what I'm saying, bro. It ain't working. You know, it's like damn, man, dude is really trying, man. You know, he really trying to do this, like this is about to work, man. But it's not. It's not. I mean, it's just you know. It's what the Most High want for him. I can't. He he. And the Most High would rather him do better, but that's just not what he's gonna do, man. He'll come back in the kingdom, you know. Most High want to. He can snap him out of it. But man, you know. See if I can find it. I don't see it, and I'm getting very sleepy, so I'm just about to probably end it there, man. But yeah, that's the point. Just our people need to uh, the people that's the brothers that's in this truth, man. We need to understand that it's important that we have that balance, that perfect balance, you know. Um, you know, right now we're out here to be fishers, you know. Uh, 
if the elect if there's any elect left that need to be sealed, you know, that's our current orders from Yahweh Shai is to be fishers. You know, and then hunters. But that hunter part ain't gonna be until we get the word word. You know? Right now, what does it say? You know. Right now the time we about to enter into represents Yahweh Shai's time before he before he died. He didn't fight back, he didn't avenge himself. He endured it until the until he was that first passing away when he first gave up the ghost. And then he came back and when he came back and when he comes back, it's gonna be a different story. And that's the same thing that's gonna happen with us, man. We gotta endure until the end. I think it might have been back in five or six, but you know, you can never love these people more than the most high loved them, you know. So all we can really do is just try to get right with the most high ourselves, continue continue to try to wake up the elect. And you know, sigh and cry for the abominations. That, that that are done in the midst of this wicked ass society, man. You know, call Halal Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai. Double honors to the apostles and elders, a great millstone. Much love to you, brothers out there preaching the truth and sincerity. And uh, with that, I say Shalom.